let's talk about how we can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve real-world problems. In a previous lesson, we learned that the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. But what does that formula actually mean? a and b are the legs of a right triangle. The legs are the ones that create the right angle. And c is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the longest side, which is always across the right triangle from the right angle. So the sum of the squares of the legs is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. We can apply this theorem to solve all kinds of real-world problems, starting with something as simple as calculating the perimeter of a rectangle. Perimeter is the distance around a shape, and on this shape we only know one of the sides. We know it's 56 feet. But since it's a rectangle, the other side, the opposite side, must also be 56 feet. So really all we need to figure out is the length of RT, and the length of EC. 65 is not going to factor into our perimeter because it's not a distance on the outside of the shape. 65 is the distance of the diagonal. But this diagonal actually creates two right triangles, the green one and the yellow one. And since they're right triangles, I can use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate the missing length. 65 must be C because it's across the triangle from the right angle which means 56 and the missing side are a and b, or the legs. So leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. I can write that 56 squared plus ec squared is equal to 65 squared. And then just solve that equation, and we get an answer of 33 feet for ec. Well, if ec is 33 feet, then rt must be 33 as well, because opposite sides of rectangles are equal. So now I know all four of the lengths of the sides of this rectangle. So I can add them together and get to an answer of 178 feet for the perimeter of this rectangle. Okay, well that was pretty straightforward, but let's try one that's a little bit more complicated. We need to calculate the perimeter of this trapezoid. Again, the perimeter of any shape is the distance around the shape. So 40 in this case is not going to factor into our perimeter because 40 is not a distance on the outside of the shape, it's on the inside of the shape. So out of the four sides of this trapezoid, we actually only know one of them. We know one of the sides is 9 plus 61 plus 42. We could actually label this side as 61 though. This is basically a rectangle that we see in the center of this trapezoid, and opposite sides of rectangles are equal. Okay, so now we know two of the sides, but we still need to know the length of TP and RA. In order to calculate that, we're going to have to use the Pythagorean theorem. Looking at triangle TPZ, which is a right triangle, sides PZ and TZ are the legs, and side PT is the hypotenuse. And we need to know the length of that hypotenuse because it's one of the sides of the trapezoid. So I can write that leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared which is 81 plus 1600, and if I square root 1681, I find out that PT must be 41 centimeters long. Now let's calculate the length of RA. RA is the hypotenuse of this right triangle, and then 42 and, oh, what's the length of this leg? Well, wouldn't it also have to be 40 centimeters? Since again, this is a rectangle here in the middle of this trapezoid, and opposite sides of rectangles are equal, I can tell that this length must be 40. So then I can do leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. So I get 3364 equals RA squared, square root both sides, and we find out that RA is 58 centimeters. So to calculate the perimeter, I need to add up all four of my side lengths. PT we calculated to be 41 centimeters. 61 we decided was the length of TR because it's opposite from this other 61 centimeter length. RA we calculated to be 58, and then PA is 9 plus 61 plus 42. So if I add all of these numbers together, I get my total perimeter of 272 centimeters. All right, let's try a word problem. Coach Jones makes his soccer players run from one corner of the field to another and then back again. A total of five times, so how many yards do they travel? Round to the nearest tenth of a yard. And it gives us a picture of a soccer field. It tells us that it is 75 yards wide and 120 yards long. Okay, well, if Coach Jones is making his players run from one corner across the field, like through the middle of the field to the other, 
I need to figure out what this length is. And it can feel a little confusing of how am I supposed to relate the Pythagorean theorem to something like this because of the way that everything's labeled. But if I move the 120 and I move the 75 off to the sides, to the edges of this shape, instead of being in the middle the way that it was originally labeled, it's a little bit easier to see that we have a right triangle. 120 and 75 are the legs of the triangle, and x is the hypotenuse. So I can figure out what x is by using the Pythagorean theorem. x is approximately 141.5 yards. Well, that's just the distance from one corner to another. But it says that Coach Jones is making them run from one corner to another and back again a total of five times. So if one lap is there and back, and I need to do that a total of five times, I'm actually going back and forth a total of ten times. One, two, that's one lap, three, four, that's two laps, and so on, so I need to multiply this number by ten. So these players are running approximately 1,415 yards when Coach Jones makes them run these laps. In our last example, Joanna is going to be building a custom sliding barn door in the house that she is remodeling. So let's help her find the length of the diagonal piece of wood, which is labeled with X in this diagram, based on the fact that the height of the door is 82 inches and the width is 36 inches. So we've pretty clearly got a right triangle here. We're going to do 36 squared plus 82 squared equals X squared. And it ends up pretty ugly when you solve it out. We get 89.5544 Let's just go ahead and round that to the nearest hundredth. So the piece of wood that she would need is approximately 89.55 inches long. And that's all you need to know about the Pythagorean theorem. In our next lesson, we're going to be discussing how we can use altitudes and similar right triangles to calculate segment lengths.